16 year old Jillian Parker squealed excitedly when she realized she and her fellow high school classmates had beaten out thousands of contestants from across the nation to win the Siemens contest's top prize of $100,000. I would also just like to thank my two partners for being able to give us this amazing opportunity. There's no way I could have done this without them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Parker collaborated with classmates Jai Chen Li and Aruba Ahmed. They uncovered the previously unknown role a specific protein has for potential treatments for autism, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's disease. They carried out their research under the guidance of science teachers at Half Hollow Hills High School in Suffolk County. We have these three wonderful young ladies who've dedicated pretty much an entire summer uh, for doing work on this particular research project. So we're over the moon about their successes. Our mentor, Dr. Takamara, was, in, was extremely helpful to us. He was so patient with us when we worked in the laboratory. He taught us and helped us through every step of the way. We managed to speak by cell phone with the talented trio just before they boarded a plane to return home. We were really ecstatic. We could not believe that it was happening. It was extremely exhilarating to just like have that moment. The young scholars say they're now being tutored by top scientists at Stony Brook University. And don't forget the helping hand from their dedicated parents. For driving us to Stony Brook every day and for always having our back. They're still just juniors in high school, but these brainy young ladies say they'll split their prize money equally to pay for college to fulfill their ambitions to become doctors and scientists. Richard Rose, TV 1055. Well, the future is bright. European disease researchers have also reached out to these young women to fully understand their insight.